concern. Uh, we have been expanding to quite a few countries. So, in short, like uh, probably in Thailand or Philippines, for people to easy to remember my name, they just call me Mr. J, right? Okay. So you can call me Mr. J next time. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I was thank uh, to Elkin Gi Spirit. I suppose this is something really unique for us. Uh, especially when we have gone through so many countries and uh, so many different MN companies. I think that is the single most important unique features of Elkin that all of us actually work together for the 20 years. So thank you very much for the gift spirits. Right. And thank you for the caller for AK for his uh, bright and long-sighted minded which had actually um, granted Elkin to change to iElkin. And thanks to our super vice president, Ms. Punk. And uh, thank you very much for my beloved upline, um, the 001 of Elkin, Mr. and Mrs. Francis Charles. And not to forget, uh, my most respected uplines, after so many years, uh, he has still been cultivating me, leading me, uh, which is the um, PCM, uh, now we call a... Uh, uh, star, star, star founder, all uh, right. My outline, Mr. and Mrs. Lee Bobo. Thank you very much. And this is my parents. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Kong Kong, yes. Um, thank you for my parents. Um, because 16 years ago, uh, they triggered my dreams to do Elkins. Um, the reason being that I wanted to black them to retire. Okay, and uh, my father was not around, my mother is still with me. But again, before I started, I want to extend my thanks to my parents. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, let's just start the topic today. Okay, um, I suppose in most of us, been staying in Malaysia or probably in um, Johor Bahru long enough, okay, um, you would probably hurt a lot of MM companies, right? Right. But if you go beyond Malaysia, like go to other countries, you will find the competition is really fierce nowadays. I suppose today, um, apart from all the audience sitting here to listen to this topic, probably some of the people might watch this from YouTube, from any other countries. The competition is really fierce. There are a lot of different companies out there that are fighting with each other. So the trend has changed. I just have a talk uh, before I went up to the stage to one of um, our new friends, Tzu Yun, right? Uh, she has been in another company for quite some time. Uh, that is, I think, her only company, right? right. Same as I. I was in Elton for 16 years. But, but, but along the way, you're going to meet a lot of, a lot of different types of company. The changing pace is tremendous. The competition is so fierce. Nowadays, not only am I compete with MIM company, am I have to compete with any other type of um, social media company, a lot of different opportunities out there. And then, MIM company itself have a lot of different faces, right? Like we have a giant company like Amway, right? In the business for 30, 40, 50 years. But we also have a lot of new coming company. Like if you heard before, Yusana, okay, Yusana is great. But there are a lot of companies which have been in the market for so short of time, probably five, six years, can reach probably the top 20, 30 of the MLM company. The, as I said again, the competition is really fierce out there. In old days, in old days, we all met the opportunity of MLM by accident. What do you mean by that? Right? You probably meet your upline by accident. Okay, someone pops into your house, share the opportunity, probably you meet the product, maybe meet some friends, right? Okay, I suppose most of us, we met opportunity by accident. But nowadays, people create the accident. What do you mean by that? Um, I think a couple months ago, I have a short chat with one of my IT friends. He has started his own company in, in, in Johor Bahru, right? So they are basically um, designing all the software um, for um, developers and other big companies. So he has a lot of engineer and designer. So he told me one thing. He told me one thing. He said, you know what? 
my engineer, my, uh, my friend's company engineer, had recently been approached by Facebook Seattle. The Facebook Seattle came all along the way to get to know someone living in Johor Bahru. Is that mean something to you? It's a tenth fight out there. Everyone is getting and fighting for good people. How do they actually get access to someone living in Johor Bahru? But the engineer did not go because of the family reason. But after eight months, he received another approach from Facebook Singapore. Very few were, my friends, engineer. You have the opportunity to work with Facebook. Not playing Facebook, but work with Facebook. What will you choose? What do I mean in bit? With the social media, the talent fight is so tremendous. A lot of people are getting out to get good people. So nowadays, people create this accident to get more people in. Same as an American company. Don't be surprised. One day, you get approached by any probably German company, um, a global MLM company, right? So what do we do as an air candidate? How do we stand up? How do we actually stand up? Now, for all my beloved um, um, Alpine friends, some we have been known for more than 10 years. Okay? Some probably in the business for 15, 18, 20 years. How do we actually stand up? Elkin has changed to iElkin for quite some time. I think um, next, this month, May, we're going to be our the first anniversary. But how? How do we actually stand up? How do we actually get distinguished by others? We got to create revolution. You see, from a stair-step plan, stair-step, stair-step, right? Our um, unilevel plan to binary, from um, pure offline to on offline, from no social media to social media, Elkin itself created a lot of revolutions. We changed a lot of things. Although changing is sounds like somewhat become messy. But that's okay. But that's fine, right? Okay? Changing is like that. But, but in ourselves, as a leader of Elkin, do we create a revolution of our own? How do you see yourself to change after a Elkin has changed? We got to create revolution. Revolution means that there is something that you have never ever done in your whole entire life before. We got to do something different. That is what we call revolution. Now, to create a revolution or a change that lasts, Revolution doesn't happen in a day. Change doesn't happen in a day. To create a revolution and a change that's going to last, we got to know what we stand for, what we fight for. What do we fight in this war? Right. Okay. What, what do you stand for? If the change won't last. To see, for example, today, you got a meet of prospects, I, um, then um, you share the opportunities of I open. Alright? Okay, that's basically what we do every day. But the next day, the prospect met another company, another opportunity. What is your prospect choice? Would you choose us or the other company? Let's give you another example. You see, Elkin, especially JB, we have such a luxury brunch. I suppose the biggest MM brunch in the whole gym, right? We spent 4.5 million for expansion and together with the shop lots, it could easily cost 10 million for this asset. And we are using it, right? We are, we are so. Um, um, honored to have the luxury to enjoy the facilities here. But, 
just an example, right? If, if one day there are another company, group of people are using JB Branch, okay, right? Another group of people, probably another company, they read this JB Branch, they use these facilities to do their activities. What would it be? Would it show another type of meaning, another atmosphere, another type of environment? And that's the choice of the prospect out there. If you don't see the competition is fierce, you will not start the revolution within yourself. Do you find, recently when you shared with your prospect about this opportunity, opportunity, I mean, if you sell products, that's fine. I mean, you get customers all the time, right? If you have good products, you will get the customers. But talking about opportunities, talking about this business model along the way for the past one year, how many, how many new types of people are coming in into your network? How many? When you start up a new business opportunity or model, how many of people that you have never sponsored in your life came to your network? You see, when we change, we're supposed to have a lot of new types of leaders, right? People will join Elton, they join Elton. But along the way, how many of these people have actually come to our network? So this is what I say. You're going to feel the competition is fierce. You're going to think that we're going to start a revolution within ourselves. We have to change our mindset, our image, our everything in order to get more new types of leaders to come to IELC. So let's see. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about choice. Choice. You know, choice. People make that decision. How? So people make choice now nowadays. For example, one prospect standing up here, listen to 10 company presentation, which one they're gonna choose? You see, as I said, in all this, opportunity is not that much. So you probably met opportunity by accidents. But now people are creating opportunity everywhere. So how do we compete with others? How? You said how? I've been signing for quite some time, for in three or four months. Met quite a few a big leaders of MLM. Some did really well in the past, some is still doing really good, some have left the business for other things, but doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When you meet them, right? Okay? I know can definitely not not the only company that comes to them, right? They will have a lot of different choices. So how are they going to judge us? You see, how are they going to judge us? Choice. What are the things that the good leaders are looking for? I sum up in two categories. The first will be the company. The company, right? The company. Is it is Elton a good company? Yes? Yes, is Elton a good company? Right? We, we're a good company. No doubt about it. Are we the only good company in the market? Are we? Well, oh, definitely not. But I'll repeat again, we, we, we are good, right? We will find no doubt about that. But we are not the only good company in the market. It's everywhere. So how to make people to choose us? You see, you, in, in everyone, you can always compare ourselves, our company with others. It doesn't mean that we have to join other companies, but we got to look what is our advantage and our shortfall. Now, when we talk about company, you know, for a global leaders, global, global means people think to expand the network globally. The first thing they join the company is whether the company has the perfect the, the capability to expand globally. They are not looking just for a good company, they are looking for a global company. 
So you say Hong did really well for the past 20 years in Malaysia? Wow, we are just that good, right? We've been number one, we outbid a lot of competitors, a lot of companies when they heard Elkin, they got scared. But when you when Elkin go to a country that we never developed before, where people never heard before, what makes people to choose Elkin? The first thing is, it's a company doing globally. I tell you what, I met a company in in time when they launch. When they launched the, the, their business, when they launched the marketing plan, when they launched that opportunity, they straight away went into 195 countries. That was crazy. What I mean, if I were the prospect to choose, one, I'm just about to develop um, all these countries, where the other already started with 195 countries. Guys, we, 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 we can't even name 100 countries. But, <clears throat> but this company has went into 195 countries. That's, that's crazy. Right? Okay, but it doesn't mean that we don't have our advantage. But look, bear in mind, bear in mind, along the way, we need to expand your network. If you're going to run an album business for the next five or ten years, you're going to meet a lot of, a lot of good people who join in, who want this opportunity to be global. That's the first thing. Secondly, what will people look about this opportunity? It's the image. What types of image given by that company? What types of image given by the leaders? The image. Again, we have been so successful for the past 20 years in Malaysia. Right? People see everything and it was like, wow. Right. But when you go to another country and say again, you have nothing to show people. The only thing is the image, the branding of that opportunity. What types of tools you're using, what type of um, um, showcase, what types of social media to have, what types of everything you have to show people. So I want every of my friends today to bear this in mind. In future when you share, don't just think about your own business model. Think about when you are competing with others. Where do we stand? That will make us to compete. That will make us to be very much to improve from now. So the branding is really important. The image is really important. How you showcase to others. And lastly, the innovation, the technology, the social media that we use. I suppose everyone uses Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, everything, right? We, we basically use it every day. Right. right? Right? But you know, talking about the 